p.m. in November. Yeah, yeah. This is not really me. I don't. I'm not really into sort of speeches and, and sort of whatever else. I'm quite good just being in the background. Unfortunately, um, we obviously lost David R. Ross uh, four, four to five years ago, and we also lost Duncan a couple of weeks ago. And to be honest with you, I'd rather be there where you are, and Davy and Duncan were still here. History in Scottish schools. Uh, we were in London last week to watch One Direction. I quite like Harry. <laughs> Basically, I've got two young girls who quite like One Direction, so it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I was dancing. I was dancing. Now, when we were down there, if an English person came up to Scotland and gave me a pound note with 1066 and King Harold on it, I would know exactly what that was, because that's what we get taught at Scottish schools. Now me being me and being a Scottish guy, I passed over a £20 note, because obviously pound notes are not really good, we're quite loaded up here, do you know what I mean? So I passed over a £20 note to this person, and the person said to me, who's this King Robert guy? And I said, oh that's King Robert, it kicked your Nancy boy King in 1314, pal. And the guy just looked at me, and then the phone rang and went, oh, by the way, we invented that as well, pal. <laughs> then he went on about the, the pound, and I went, well, Bank of England, you're talking about, is that correct? He went, yeah, that's it, Bank of England. I went, Google William Patterson, pal. He invented the Bank of England. You might actually notice that he's Scottish as well. See you later. And we sort of left at that precise moment in time. I should have said it right at the start here, that for people taking photographs, and I did this at Lighton Hill, and it did improve my look, if I'm honest with you. Because when people take photographs when I'm speaking, I don't look right. I just, my face goes all over the place, and I just don't look right. Photoshop. <laughs> what, what I said at Lighton Hill was, if, if you take photographs once I made, made my speech, and it did help, I did look a little bit normal at that precise moment in time. The one thing with with William Wallace and with King Robert the Bruce, and I feel sometimes with Scotland, we remember William Wallace, we remember King Robert the Bruce, the likes of Andrew de Morey and the likes of the Black Douglas are sort of forgotten. And I think that's a shame. And I think from Scottish kids at school that are not taught this, and I think it's a damn shame. And I think with regards to with London not even knowing about our history, I think with the passion that I can see with the young kids here that are brought up in an environment of Scottish history, you can see the passion that they've got for their country. The problem that we've got, and I think you'll find this with the young 16-year-olds coming up to the referendum, they will vote yes because they have not been hammered for the last 30 to 40 years with unions rubbish and bringing Scotland down. I'm going to finish now and it's something that I've always asked and I still don't know the answer and I'd love to know. Is at the Battle of Bannockburn on the first day and you're all obviously knocking the living whatever out of each other and whatever else. Who said stop? <laughs> Who then said, well, we'll come back here tomorrow, boys. It's getting a wee bit late. My, my tea's out at half six. <laughs> I mean, who said, right, oh, man, finished. Nobody. Listen, have a cracking, cracking day. And Alba Gabratius, thank you very much. Yeah.